It's Christmas in July! Let's talk Christmas crochet patterns! Today, Christmas Afghans. I'm for me, crochet! It's Christmas in July! Let's take a look at some Christmas Afghans! A lot of work, so start early! Most of these, there, there's a lot of vintage ones in this, and I like that look. Beautiful flowers on it, poinsettia. It's, it looks nice, comfy, cozy, and very Christmassy. This one is built up out of granny squares, making these Christmas tree shapes. Great idea. And here is another granny square one with the with the small little Christmas trees in there already. Very traditional Christmas colors. Now a poinsettia, a sort of abstract poinsettia idea in this one. This one is completely different. It's a uh, a completely different vibe to this uh, crochet Christmas owl afghan. Oh, this is a lot of work. I cannot imagine. I always admire people who make these things. It's so oh, this is a nice. Look at the gorgeous stitch they used. Oh, beautiful. Another vintage one with wreaths and a sort of snowflake type um, granny squares. Simple nativity afghan is this one called a sort of <laughs> or oh, Minecraft type of nativity scene here with all the the square shapes. <laughs> it's a fun idea. More traditional ones with almost candy cane sort of kind of stripes. I like that. Here's a different view of it. Oh, this one is a very, very happy... <laughs> this is a very happy Afghan. Look at it. Oh, beautiful. Oh, this one is so adorable. The little hedgehog with his present following the star. It's adorable. I like that it's not so traditional Christmas colors as well. Close up of a very traditional Afghan granny square. Grandma had it going on. Yeah, baby. Crochet that thing. I like this one as well with the bells and the holly. Traditional looking, but it has also very sleek modern lines. And this is, of course. Uh, from the the Twelve Days of Christmas songs uh, song, I don't know the the, the lyrics, but uh, swans are swimming, I think, and uh, these must be the lords a leaping, <laughs> the pipers piping. This is a lot of work, but a lot of fun as well. I don't know where the rest is. Uh, maybe we'll find it later. <laughs> I don't know. Traditional Christmas one. You can never go wrong with that. Lovely holly middle and granny square rim and these are the bells close up we had that one already oh here's the whole thing a partridge in a pear tree two turtle doves th three french hens <laughs> they could have made them a little bit more french surely four turtle doves the five golden rings and then all the stuff i don't know <laughs> but there's 12 of them and uh uh, it's uh, it's a great, it's so much fun this one. Oh, here is the close up of the of the first half of the of the Afghan. So nice. Well, this is a very traditional one. Can't go wrong with these colors and this type of crocheting. I like the snowflake. Can I zoom in on that? The snowflake edges there. They look really, really, really cool. Oh, there's a close-up here. You can also use different colors, of course, not just the red and white, but also the green in there. I like the stitches used in this one. Ah, uh, we had this one already. And uh, you can also make a different color scheme, not just the uh, red, green and white, but blue and white is also a great idea. Get more of a winter vibe instead of Christmas. So it's perhaps uh, goes along further in the season, although I really like the combination of white and red. That's it for the Afghans. Uh, I hope to see you again soon for more Christmas in July and happy crocheting!